yeah, so picking up where we left off, um, we are still slowly, uh, what's it called, restoring the disk image. Um, so it's going to take a while, but uh, we uh, took out the uh, SD card from the uh, from the good one, from the good Risk V with the good SD card, so we can get back to uh, kind of uh, actually doing stuff with the Risk V, uh, John. Um, so yeah, so I'll plug it in. It's plugged in, and uh, oh man, going to get that on the table and then uh where'd the chat go oh, okay cool um can i make this stay in front always on top yes cool so yes yeah, so i i'm glad i figured out how to make that uh this stay up all the time because kept missing all your messages anyone else here by the way nope cool um, <clears throat> okay, uh, so let's go back, uh, maybe I should, okay, so we got this, same IP, uh, let's go here, we'll SSH on, hopefully, um, cool. You know what I'm going to do, uh, ah, oh man, I, I, I'm already cloning the image, so it's like anything I do now, I can't. Okay, let me. What should I do? What 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 do you think I should do, Herky? <laughs> I think. Let's take a look at what we got on here. Micro server. Whoops. Oh, uh, see micro server ls cd source ls vim server whoops vim server so we got this resting on one eight thousand uh yeah i had a i don't know what i was doing with this i think what i wanted to do is uh oh actually does this work let me try it do Python source or Python? Uh, let's do LSLAC Python server source server. Okay. Okay, it's listening. Uh, let's see post upload self dot upload upload headers get content length. Uh, okay. So how do I send a? Uh, uh, okay, send file Linux command line. Okay. HTTP. Yeah, curl, but yeah, curl. But I just uh, forget how you. Okay, so for this. Uh, what I was wondering was how to include the file. Okay, so you just do that. Yeah, so it's curl and then, okay, let's do file at, let's go over. Yeah, yeah, I like have, I, I've, I've done a lot of these things before, but it's just like easier for me to like Google real quick to confirm before trying a bunch of random stuff. Um, whoops, uh, what should I send? Uh, CD. I'm just gonna repo, see what we got in here. Let's do the wanna watch me code net. So let's do paste that curl file at. Do I have to give absolute path? I think probably. Yes, understand it's hard to remember all the commands. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But knowing where to find them really quickly or how to Google it is a really good skill to have. So PWD. Let's go paste. Uh, um, wanna watch me code repos? Whoa, what happened? How come? Oh, cause the okay. Let me make this uh not so much. Okay, so we can see there repos. Um, wanna watch me code? Uh, 
uh, autocomplete is not going to work. Want to watch me code? Browse sharp notes.txt, and then it's just the path, right? So, uh, um, and what was it again? It was go to dumpster fire, got that, paste. Uh, so what's it actually going to do? It opens file, right line, get file, x dot file name. Okay. Okay. All right. So I need to set a header. Uh, it's like dash h, right, or something like that. Whoops. Is it with header? And I, oh, do I hate that AI is giving me the answers? I hate AI. Yeah, it's just dash h. Dash a, it's got to be before that. Dash h, um, x, uh, x, file name, file name, uh, x. Uh, x file name equals oh, me code browse sharp nets uh, does it need the colon no it doesn't okay okay so actually this all has to be in quotes I think and um, uh, let me take another look at the the Python see what we're actually doing here <laughs> file name is none file name must be defined string read content length while wow. open file file name okay so let's do the actual raw path so this is kind of dangerous I I uh, you would definitely want to have more protection on this than uh, what I have right now. Okay, so let's try it. Curl. Do I have uh... Okay, let me add some logging. Oh, whoops. Did I? Oh, 8080. Okay. Let me go, uh, one sec, I might have to do HTTP, right? Or maybe not. Um, let's do vim source server pi. Let's do, um, oh, I gotta do the path, okay. Uh, let's do print received post request. Okay, got that, no need for that. Um, whoops. Um, print. Actually, I don't need to do it there. Do it here. Print. Received. Upload. Request. Oh. Oh, the I have nine two. Oh, good call. Good catch. Yeah. So HTTP and then that typo and then upload. Yeah. Nice, you got it. Um, let's go fi print file. Whoops, file name is. Um, I forget. Can I do? I forget if I can do plus file name plus with content length plus string maybe I'm not too sure about all this uh, content length I'll test that uh, and then we'll do 
print wrote file successfully and then we'll do plus file name oops okay Python source index nope server.py okay and I guess Python scripting language so we're not gonna know if it's correct until we hit that branch right or does it do it at compile time or not even compile time but 192.168.http slash 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 upload couldn't connect the server oh 8000 the eights and zeros kinda look the same sometimes m3 reply from server Okay, uh, accession during request from for print. Okay, yeah, see, so that's a not, a not so good thing about Python is it doesn't blow up until. Oh, it is string though. I was right there. Print, print. Okay. And to reply from server. Cool. File name must be defined. Okay. Received upload request. Received post request. So I guess my header is incorrect. Uh, let's see what Google said. Oh, okay. It's got to be colon, not equals. Uh, I was getting. I was thinking of cookies, which have the the semicolon delimiter okay all right let's try it now empty reply from server root file successfully heck yeah let's check it out let's see if it's here ls ls Yes, cool. And it's here. Oh, it's here, but it's uh, it's got some jargon in it. Or does it? Let me see. Let me see what the original one has. Then wanna. Done. Okay. So. Oh, it wrote the entire request. I guess text plain. Weird. Oh wait, maybe you have to parse the file. Maybe this is the format. So, hmm, interesting. Well, at least we got a file uploaded. That's nice. But we should probably get rid of all that junk so we don't have to deal with it. So source server. Um. self.rfile.read Is it because of the encoding? No, because it wasn't like jarbled really, was it? Should we go? Let me run this again and then trigger it. Okay. File name is that with content length 13. Okay, maybe, okay, so I think that then the file is an object that we're reading. So, file name. So maybe it's like, maybe there's a body. Um, R file, self that R file. Okay, let me Google uh, Python R file. 
on our file requests and input stream reading to read data from client requests. In Python, our file is attribute. If HBR, do get socket server reading. Content length. Our file ignore headers. No, they're not headers. Uh, Python R file contains file extension. Python R file write to file. Oh, forget 190. Yeah, okay. Um, it seems like you have a typo. There's no R file in Python. Uh, Python R file body. Is that what I'm using? Requests? Forget. Let's see, Dev. No, I'm just using uh, Python base issue server read file. Okay, our file. I have a buffered I base input stream ready to read from start of optional input data. Read, 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 read. Raw the underlying raw stream buffered buffered bad base. R file with file body only Python. Okay, but I thought I was. Okay, so let me actually do. So my <laughs> um, line scared all this. Okay, let's see if that works. I wonder if it's the UTF eight encoding causing the issues. During this, right, argue must be string, not bytes. Oh, geez, what? Uh, there must be a way to write raw bytes. 
file write bytes python is it the b binary mode yeah Let's do vim. vim. Still got it though. Is the content length just incorrect? Oh, you know what? Maybe. Wait, hold on. So I guess it's just going to contain the header then. Um, form data. Name file. Maybe it's these M's. Uh, what is? Um, character. I'm kind of By the way, this is a great resource. Unix was uses this for new line character. without header python python http I hate when people say to use packages. Bothers me. Do something real quick. Uh, let me go see if this happens when I'm in the browser. Let's do ls. Nope. Let's go here. ls cd micro server ls vim uh, tester .html. Let's go html doc type. 
HTML, 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 head, head, body, body, uh, form, yes, action equal, uh, method equals post, action equals whatever, uh, localhost, no, not localhost, uh, let's exit, quit, let's get this, copy, oh man, it's in the way. Copy, copy link, fan tester. Go paste. Creative it is action actually, but we'll figure it out. Um, forget upload file post form. Add file. Okay. Input type equals file. Name equals. Actually, what am I doing? What is actually <laughs> let me go over here? How am I getting this out? Um, Um, source con string content type. Can you set headers in a form? Set headers in form. It cannot be done. All right, we're gonna do. Jeez. Okay, we're actually gonna do. Not this. Do script. No, input type equals text, uh, id equals file name, file path, local, local file path, input type equals text, i equals remote, Remote file path script script type equals uh, text slash script. I think that's it, right? Is it app? Yeah, I think it's text. Um, and then we'll do function, and then we'll do input type equals button id equals send, please. Uh, input send. And we'll do a little wait 
variables variable and we'll do remote file path label local file path label okay function send and we'll do xml http request let request equal and we do const here <coughs> No issue XML HTTP request. XML HTTP request. Constructor XML HTTP. Okay, so just that. Um, what do you request? Uh, is there an example here? I wish I had examples on here, but uh, response ready state status response XML status text timeout upload. Okay. Request start upload. Close this. You copy link go here around console equals paste. Okay, and then let's go. Uh, where's upload? Upload, excellent. Read only. Okay, upload, load, start, progress. Open. Uh, the spec also seems to indicate even. Is it open? I need. Open. The. The open. Method and URL. Test. Let parameters method get URL async user password return value none undefined. Let's do. Set request headers. Request dot set request headers. Header. X file name. And document dot get element by ID. Um, remote file path. Uh, text. OK. 
Okay. Um, let's do file. Body. Response body. Response text. Send file XML HTTP request. Change editor. XHR XHR Yeah Open post update feature true Send file data Oh okay Okay, send, so let's do send file input files. File input change XHR import button. Upload a file, file to upload. Okay, let's do that. Paste. I'm just gonna copy what they got here. Okay. What was that? Paste. file input come from cause file input equals document dot get element by ID Okay. <coughs> All right. Let's open this showing up. Um, let's go file. Wanna watch me code? Um, wanna watch me code? For uh, repos, 
um, micro server test route HTML HTML let's do this got that root file path root slash random image.png okay let's try it oh wait I don't think I'm even running the server let's go and open up developer tools send Nope, oh, didn't work. Let's console say nothing. Oh, because I have no uh on click equals send. Whoops. Choose file. Random image. Root. Random image. PNG. Site request is not a function. Oh, header. root ri.png access set request from original has been blocked by course policy uh yes <coughs> um now access control allergen uh okay so i guess we gotta damn it uh Okay, class. That's annoying. Um, let's do request. Uh, Set request header uh, cores no cores Access to that at that from Okay, let's uh, try something else. Let's go let's go Oh it's getting there though, so Self dot set header cores. Wait. Disable cores Python server. <laughs> Go 
Okay. Which version of Python am I using to? Python, which Python? Python version three. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Oh, okay. Still you. How you doing? Uh. Okay, Python 3 solution, send header, okay. Okay, then which Python? Listener upload file, uh, wrong one. End headers. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's actually a method. <coughs> Response. Connection refused. Air empty response. End headers takes one positional argument, two are given. Some recursion death. Uh, oh. Let's 
Is there a super here? Oh, okay. Delete, delete. Options, why options? Uh, unsupported method options, Python. Oh, of course. Maybe I, yeah, I don't think I need, I don't think I need this anymore. Dev, did it work?
Streams file. Random image. Root. Uh, PNG. HR tester pre flight console empty response. And source Python. This would work when used inside the class for the question. Okay, super. Okay. Super dot and and headers. Close. Current string line ETF There we go.
Check if file is undefined. Python. Except res dot okay. So let's send response five hundred. No. Four hundred print file name. File name must be defined. Return. Mine is undefined with Oh, it must be defined. Okay. Okay, fix that issue. Now let's actually go fix our code from tester.
slash readme.txt. Is not a function. Just a value, you must call it after calling after calling open and before calling send. headers x file name Are you serious, dude? Wow, pasting. Cool, got it. Oh, and I still got that jargon.
Okay, let's go here. Um, Will any pass file metadata? I am looking for people.
Read all bytes headers included rule lines, hangs, and script because you know, even if you specify how many bytes to read, file it's full lines, file and the lines and retains. Decode file form upload Python. Part and decode. Okay, let's try and get this, I guess. Python HME server decoder. Oh, do I do code? Okay, so maybe body dot code. is not defined.
So that worked, but... Next file. Python is how do you okay? <coughs> Python install package. See.
Simple. 